Okay students, so next question in the third module is displayed on the screen. So all of you please read the question, later we will analyze the question. Okay, all right. What it states? Consider, consider the code. Execute on a pipeline CPU. Code is given. Ask you to execute on a pipeline system. Here program contains six instructions. Six instructions are there. It is clearly showing inputs and outputs along with action. Now, number of RAW, WAR, WAW hazards possible in the code denoted as X, Y, Z. X means number of RAW hazards, Y means number of WR hazards, Z means number of WAW hazards. The value of X, Y, Z. That means we need to add the total hazards and report the answer. Okay. To answer this question, first of all, you should know the dependency conditions in the pipeline especially data dependency conditions are classified into three types that is true data dependency anti data dependency and output data dependency is it clear so based on these dependencies there is a stalls possible in the pipeline so first you should know what is dependency later uh, we can name the corresponding stall stall is called as the hazard okay we will see that after understand the concepts of dependencies we will come back to the question and uh, calculating the total number of hazards possible in the given code okay students come to the pipeline data dependencies actually in the pipeline overlapping execution is takes place you know that so instruction j overlapping with the instruction i because of j follows i in the program order in the program order j follows i that is the reason instruction j is overlapping with the instruction i suppose we have a code like this j follows i that means first we have a i instruction next we have a j instruction so here j follows i in the program order j follows i in the program order so that j is overlapping with i first i is inserted into the pipeline next j inserted so that j is overlapping with i very good so here data dependency conditions are like this instruction j reads the data tries to read the data before before instruction i writes it j reads the data before i writes this is called as the true data dependency true data dependency okay right actually true data dependency is existed between the adjacent instructions in order execution when the program is executing in a sequence that top to bottom that is in order execution in that in order execution true data dependency is present okay right next instruction j write the data write the data before before instruction i reads it this is called as the anti data dependency anti data dependency okay students and third one Instruction J write the data before instruction I writes it. This is the output data dependency. Output data dependency. Okay. Read before read is not a dependency. Read before read is not a dependency. Matlab, you may read the data before read. You may read the data after read. Value will be same. Read read is not an issue. Okay, read write is an issue, write read an issue, write write is an issue. Okay, these issues are called as true data dependency, anti dependency, output dependency, as you know that. 
So here, anti-dependency and output dependency, these two are possible with the out of order execution. Out of order execution means instruction scheduling. After schedule the instructions, execution flow will be changed. That change of execution flow is a out of order execution. Okay. Due to out of order execution, two kinds of dependencies possible. That is the reason anti-dependency and output dependency both are counting under the out of order execution. So, instruction may be scheduled anywhere. So, you need to take all the possible combinations when we count the anti-dependency and output dependency. Students, okay? So, these two are out of order dependencies. That's what instruction may be scheduled anywhere. When instruction is scheduled anywhere, all the combinations we need to examine. Very good. But true data dependency is a true data dependency is a in order dependency. In order. In order dependency means we need to check the adjacent dependencies. For the true data dependency, adjacent dependencies are verified. Out of order dependency, all combinations are examined. Is it clear now? So, if you want to identify whether true data dependency present or not, anti-dependency present or not, output dependency present or not, we need to compare the registers. Registers we need to compare. Okay, so what are the registers we need to compare that we need to decide. So actually true data dependency ke liye, true data dependency ke liye, we need to check the comparison. Instruction J, instruction I, see this. Instruction J, input register, okay is equal to instruction i output register then true data dependency present then anti data dependency ke liye for the anti data dependency what we are checking output register of j compare with input register of i when both are matching anti data dependency present then output data dependency ke liye we are comparing the output register with the output register. Both the output registers we are comparing. Instruction J output register, instruction I output register. When both are same, then output data dependency existed between J and I. Like this, registers are compared. Input register compared with output register, both are same, then true data dependency present. Output register compared with input register, when both are same, anti-data dependency existed between J and I. Next, output register compare with output register. When both are same, output data dependency existed between J and I. So here, instruction J registers compared with the instruction I registers because J follows I. J overlapping with I. Okay, students, right. So normally, when dependency occurred, see this, when dependency occurred, before means dependency, there is a data loss. Because of dependency, data loss present. To correct the data loss, what we are going to do? To correct the data loss, what we are going to do? Change the before to after. This after creates the stalls. Those stalls are called as the hazards. Those stalls are called as the hazards. Okay. True data dependency created stall is RAW hazard. RAW hazard. Then anti data dependency created stall is WAR hazard. Output data dependency created stall is WAW hazard. Okay. Dependency causes the data loss. To correct the data loss, we are asking the instruction J, please wait until I operation is completed. So, instruction J performing the operations after instruction I performs the action. Okay, instruction J performs the operations after instruction I completes the operation. Completes the operation. So, this after creating the stall that is a hazard. Those hazards are called as the RAW hazard, WAR hazard, WAW hazard with respect to the 
ట్రూ డేటా డిపెండెన్సీ యాంటీ డేటా డిపెండెన్సీ అండ్ అవుట్పుట్ డేటా డిపెండెన్సీ ఈజ్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆల్ రైట్ నౌ టేక్ దిస్ హెల్ప్ గో బ్యాక్ టు ద క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ ఆన్సర్ ద క్వశ్చన్ రైట్ నౌ వీఆర్ మూవింగ్ బ్యాక్ టు ది క్వశ్చన్ ఎస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఫస్ట్ ఆర్ఏడబ్ల్యూ హజార్డ్స్ ట్రూ డేటా డిపెండెన్సీ ఓకే ఫర్ దిస్ వాట్ వీ నీడ్ టు కంపేర్ ఇన్పుట్ రిజిస్టర్ ఈజ్ కంపేర్డ్ విత్ అవుట్పుట్ రిజిస్టర్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ సీ దిస్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ టు ఇన్పుట్ రిజిస్టర్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వన్ అవుట్పుట్ రిజిస్టర్ కంపేర్ కరో సో వెన్ ఐ కంపేర్ దిస్ దీస్ టూ ఆర్ మ్యాచింగ్ న దెన్ వీ కెన్ సే ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ టూ ఈస్ డేటా డిపెండెంట్ ఆన్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వన్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు ఆర్ జీరో very good identified next go to the instruction 3 instruction 3 input registers compare with the instruction 1 instruction 2 because adjacent dependency we can count non adjacent dependency resolved with the adjacent dependency but here when i compare i3 with i1 hai you na know, r0 dependency is there but already i2 is waiting for r0 hai you na know, there is a adjacent dependency there is a adjacent dependency for the r0 i2 is already waiting for r0 i3 is also waiting for r0 so this dependency will be eliminated non adjacent dependency eliminated through adjacent dependency hai you na know, when there is a adjacent dependency between i2 and i1 okay i3 is also waiting for i1 already i2 waiting no need to count the i3 waiting separately so this is eliminated that means non adjacent data dependency eliminated through adjacent data dependency that means i3 dependent on i1 that is non adjacent de data dependency i3 dependent on i1 is a non adjacent data dependency that is eliminated because of i2 is dependent on i1 for the same operand for the same register data that's what this need not to count now go to i3 to ah uh, i2 there is a dependency for r1 next please i4 i4 output r0 sorry i4 input r0 and r1 compare with the previous if you compare with previous na i4 is dependent on i2 for the register r1 you know i4 to i2 is a non adjacent non adjacent dependency it wants r1 data okay this non adjacent dependency eliminated eliminated because of i3 is already waiting for i2 when i3 is waiting for r1 i4 also waiting for r1 okay i3 waiting i already considered therefore it i4 waiting need not to be considered so non adjacent data dependency eliminated through adjacent data dependency okay when i3 is waiting for r1 i4 also waiting for r1 okay i3 waiting i already counted no need to count the i4 waiting so this non adjacent data dependency eliminated next please i4 i4 to i3 which register r0 is it clear next one i5 i5 compare so i5 to i4 there is a dependency with respect to r2 then i6 yeah compare these two then i6 to i5 there is a dependency with respect to r1 so total number of true data dependencies 1 2 3 4 5 so x equal to 5 next please w a r w a r next anti data dependency what we are going to do output register is compared with the input register output register this is the out of order dependency so we need to take all combinations so first instruction to output r1 it it is compared with instruction one input matching a output input se compare karo matching so that i2 to i1 there is a dependency with respect to r1 
नेक्स्ट I3 थ्री आउटपुट आउट रिजिस्टर आर जीरो कंपेर विथ ई वन कंपेर विथ ई टू बिकॉज ऑफ इट इज ए आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर सो ई थ्री मे बी शेड्यूल बिफोर ई वन और ई थ्री मे बी शेड्यूल बिफोर ई टू ऑल कॉम्बिनेशन सो दिस इज ई थ्री मैचिंग विथ ई वन ई थ्री ऑल्सो मैचिंग विथ ई टू सो हियर i3 to i1 and also i3 to i2 both are countable because of it is a instruction scheduling you may schedule it before i1 or before i2 so both are countable this is r0 point of view dependency next come to i4 this is r2 compare with i1 not matching i2 matching i3 not matching so i4 to i2 register r2 matching then i5 i5 output is r1 compared with i1 matching i2 not matching i3 matching i4 matching so that i5 to i1 i5 to i3 i5 to i4 with respect to register r1 anti data dependency present this we are counting because of out of order execution understand okay i6 memory memory compare with any one not matching so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so y equal to 7 because in the question y means r a w hazards x means r y means w a r hazards x means r a w hazards so x is 5 y is 7 now go to the w a w hazard go to the w a w hazard tell w a w w a w hazard comparing the output registers output register is compare with output register both we can compare okay now see this instruction to output instruction one output both are not same instruction three output register instruction one yeah both are same so that i3 to i1 r0 me output data dependency present then it is compare with i2 no dependency i4 r2 previous destinations not matching i5 r1 previous destinations only i2 destination matching that is r1 remaining not matching i6 output memory not matching with any one therefore how many only two this is z z is equal to 2 okay students then what they are asking what is the value of x y z okay x is 5 y is 7 and z is 2 okay this is equal to 14 so total number of hazards present in the system is 14 14 hazards are there r a w w a r w a w together but here you please remember one thing w a r w a w s are the out of order dependencies due to instruction scheduling these dependencies are there instruction scheduling may be present at any level you know i3 may be scheduled before i1 or it may be scheduled before i2 therefore all combinations we need to consider understood but the uh, raw hazard always we are taking the sequence in order dependency in this in order in order dependency if there is a adjacent data dependency between i2 and i1 and also non adjacent data dependency between i3 and i1 for the same register data then eliminate the non adjacent dependency because we already counted the adjacent data dependency got my point so this logic is required to understand the question and also to answer the question i hope you understand is it clear very good so practice accordingly all right